There's Kamikaze Pigs, a demon-possessed man who breaks chains and has superhuman strength, and Jesus with power, authority and compassion. Here's three things you can learn from this Bible story. 1. The power and compassion of Jesus. Just as Jesus had compassion for this demon-possessed man, he has compassion for you, whatever the situation is that you face. Jesus had power to cast out evil, to cast out the demon in this man. And Jesus has the power to free you from spiritual or emotional bondage. No matter how dire the situation is that you face, Jesus can free you from it. Two, the role of telling your story about what Jesus has done in your life. The demon-possessed man became a powerful witness to the townspeople about what Jesus had done for him. And telling your story is a way to spread God's love, to share his transformative power in other people's lives. Three, we see incredible compassion for the outcast and marginalized. Jesus was willing to engage with this man and it shows us how important it is for us to reach people, to show people love who are often overlooked and rejected. They went across the lake to the region of Gerasenes. When Jesus got out of the boat, a man with an impure spirit came from the tombs to meet him. The man lived in the tombs and no one could bind him anymore, not even with chains. For he had often been chained hand and foot, but he tore the chains apart and broke the irons on his feet. No one was strong enough to subdue him. Night and day amongst the tombs and in the hills, he would cry out and cut himself with stones. When he saw Jesus from a distance, he ran and fell on his knees in front of him. He shouted at the top of his voice, What do you want with me, Jesus, Son of the Most High God? In God's name, don't torture me. For Jesus had said to him, Come out of this man, you impure spirit. Then Jesus asked him, What is your name? My name is Legion, he replied, for we are many. And he begged Jesus again and again not to send them out of the area. A large herd of pigs was feeding on a nearby hillside. The demons begged Jesus, Send us amongst the pigs and allow us to go into them. He gave them permission, and the impure spirits came out and went into the pigs. The herd, about 2,000 in number, rushed down the steep bank into the lake and were drowned. Those tending the pigs ran off and reported this in the towns and the countryside, and the people went out to see what happened. When they came to Jesus, they saw the man who'd been possessed by the legion of demons sitting there, dressed and in his right mind, and they were afraid. Those who'd seen it told the people what had happened to the demon-possessed man and told about the pigs as well. Then the people began to plead with Jesus to leave the region. As Jesus was getting into the boat, the man who had been demon-possessed begged to go with him. Jesus didn't let him, but said, Go home to your own people and tell them how much the Lord has done for you and how he's had mercy on you. So the man went away and began to tell in the Decapolis how much Jesus had done for him. And all the people were amazed. Follow me for more glimpses of God.